Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is the owner of a multi-million dollar natural hair company. Yes, she is, and she's been minding her business so well, she landed a show on Oprah's own network. Let's take a look. Megan, we have a responsibility, you and I. I'm gonna be harder on you because you are another black woman who is going to be judged on a higher scale and given less opportunity just because you're black. So right. go out and be the best you can be right. and show the world different. I want you to be better. I'm sorry. Was she talking to me? Hey, please Ooh. welcome CEO and star of Mind Your Business with Mahisha. Mahisha Dellinger, how are you? Thank you. I'm very good. Thank you, good. lady. Yes, you better. My That's God. Cool, I would say. We can't stop. <laughs> well, Mahisha, we saw you being quite tough in that in that clip there, but um, I, I like to think that that's a tribute to the, the area you grew up in, mm -hmm. in um, Sacramento, California. Was right. it rough? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. rough is an understatement. Yeah. I, it was wow. a serious situation of generational cycle of poverty mm -hmm. that persisted yeah. in my neighborhood, and my family, and my mm -hmm. community. You don't have many or any yeah. resources to look up to and change your destiny and your legacy. Mm -hmm. So it just persisted. Yeah. And so I, just, I was determined to not let it continue. Yeah. How did I you think it. you did that? What was it about you and what went off for you to, to say, no, this is not going to be my life? Break the cycle. Well, I broke the cycle. I did have a father that was somewhat involved. Okay. But I saw how he lived mm -hmm. every other weekend. Mm -hmm. He was educated. He mm -hmm. came from, you know, a different side of the railroad tracks, if you will. But he lived differently than I did. Mm -hmm. And I saw that I didn't want to live the way I lived at my mom's home. Yeah. But I did it through education. Yeah. I shifted. I was able to get a different opportunity mm -hmm. before me by yeah. going through education, getting my college degree, and then going to corporate America. That yeah. started the whole process. Right, yeah. and, and you got yourself ready for school, you got yourself clean, then you cook for yourself at age yeah. seven. Mm -hmm. That sense of independency so early yes. really fueled you, I'm sure, as well. It did. I mean, there was no other choice. My mom had to be gone to work. She had to go to work. She mm -hmm. had to work to make sure we had a roof over our heads. So, yeah, it gave me a sense of independence. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you are the CEO of a multi-million dollar natural hair company called Curls. Yes. You have it in Target, Sally, CVS, uh, yeah. Walmart, everything. Walgreens. Um, how, how does that feel? How does that feel? And, 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 and please tell our viewers, what were the necessary steps that you took to get there? I think a lot of times people th think products just pop up. Yeah. And right. yeah. I think I would love to hear you educate people on how to go by doing that. Sure. Well, it's a process because you getting into a retail space where the landscape is very competitive, shelf space is a premium, um, you have to really prove that you're worthy of being there. So you have to show yourselves and really be aggressively forward with how you brand yourself, how you market yourself, because they're watching on social media. They watch who's popping and who's being talked about and what brands are performing mm -hmm. um, today more than before, of course. Um, but really, it is all about how you brand yourself. Yeah. And it was a seven-year rise to success, if you will. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a, you know, it's not instant. Overnight. It's not instant and by any means. Is it instant? Yeah. Um, you have to really put in the work. Mm -hmm. And I launched back before social media. Yes. So the grind even was even harder. harder. Right. Yeah. And now it's an onslaught of so many Coming natural in. hair. Yes. Yeah, which is great. Right. But I know you felt like, hey, I I'm one of the pioneers. Of yeah. We definitely yeah. are. We were the one of the original four that yeah. Target brought in to yes. start and to really test to see if this was going to work, yeah. the market was going to work. Yeah. And we did all well, the four brands together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of launched this whole new market. Yeah, I yeah. That. So now, fast forward. Your story is amazing. I mean, your success story is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now you have to show the people how to get it done. What yes. was that meeting like when Own said, I think we like this lady? You know, I have been doing that informally with black female business owners for a while. Mm -hmm. So now it's just on a platform where it's more visible. Yes. And I never sought after it. It just kind of happened. And yes. I thought, well, why not do it on a bigger scale? So let's go for it. Yes. If I can help another black woman show her how to do it and how to do it right, then why not? Ooh. See, good yeah. attitude. Yeah. <laughs> let's just start there. Yes. Great attitude because a lot of people don't. And sometimes people think, well, if I teach her, then she may become better than me. Mm -hmm. And that's not the attitude to have. That's Absolutely. not the behavior. And that's definitely not the way to push us forward as a right. group of women. Yes. Uh, tell me a little bit about the new show on OWN, Mind Your Business. What can we expect? I know we saw a little bit of the clip there. You're very tough, but you very assertive. I love that, though. It's tough love. 
What, what else are we going to see? Well, that was the nicest clip of that episode. Oh, oh well, good then. Oh, because that, it? you know, <laughs> we have eight beautiful black women with their businesses that need help, mm -hmm. all struggling. You can't help and rescue and save everyone because mm -hmm. that was the one challenged mm -hmm. episode and one challenged business owner. Um, Lots of tough love you'll see. Mm -hmm. um, I asked the producers, which Mahisha do you want? Yes. The PC Mahisha mm -hmm. or the real Mahisha? Mm -hmm. yeah. There wasn't a script. I was given the business and rolled into the scenes mm -hmm. and gave it how I saw it. Yeah. So you'll yeah. see a lot of real life responses. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, we're leaving them with the tools, yeah. the resource, the information, the access they need to go to the next level. Yeah. All right, all yeah. right. So what if a woman is in a current situation where she just feels like, oh God, I can't do it. <clears throat> the against all odds type of mentality. Yeah. What would you like to say to them at Honey, this moment? Honey, listen, if I can do it, so can you. Yeah. It's about your mindset. You have to reprogram program yourself to thinking, I can't, I can't, I can't. Mm -hmm. I had a very limited situation, mm -hmm. but I took what I had and scraped by to make it. Come so on. if you start with pennies, let's just start with pennies. Yeah. yeah. And then let's make those dollars and make yeah. those dollars, hundred dollar bills, and then go from there. Well, you know, we gotta I start say, somewhere. <laughs> little money stacks and big money. Yeah, exactly. Stacks to big yeah. money. Yeah. You know, if you know how to save it, yeah. it will. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Good stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing mm -hmm. your story today. Yeah. Uh, Mind Your Business on OWN TV airs uh, on Saturdays at 10 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you check it out. Thank you. Yeah. Right. So up next, Mahisha is going to stay with us and join us at the table for full circle discussion mm -hmm. on women in business because I need some help, okay? And maybe you do too, so don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it very